Hello everybody. Uh, today I've got this deck uh, to fix a couple issues from my friend. Uh, it's a really nice deck. It's Sony 890ES. And it looks like new and very good condition. And as you may see, the head is almost new. So from different angles, it looks really well. So this deck has been serviced, but my friend says uh, there are some issues with recording. So what I would start probably, let's start from the quick tests. I just put in tape with music recorded and it was playing fine. So let's see speed. If it's there, okay. Let me see. Yeah, so it's Sony Speed 3141, 3144. So all Sony decks play a little bit lower. Um, that's probably there was design. It's still in range, it's still like uh, normal, so you would not be able to hear this difference, but for guys who like it precise, this may be an issue. Uh, most of my Sony decks did play the same slow. I had fixed it a few. Some of them, like it didn't work my fix. Let's see levels. Okay. Yes, so C0 level is there and it's minus five decibel so properly levels are there now let's check the frequency response just for the case to make sure that everything is fine i will rewind to 400 gears and we will gradually increase frequency and uh, if i have cd direct input connected let me see yes A little bit balance on oh, CD direct, so there is no balance. So I see there is a little bit difference one decibel between left and right channel. Uh, let me reconnect to the other input so we would be able to adjust balance. Yeah, see, now I can adjust balance and make it good. So it's minus five decibel and it's zeros. And you see it's just right there. Hmm. It shows properly in the middle position. So let me see if something wrong with my device. Let me turn it off. You know, it's zeros. See, both are on zero. Okay. Uh, I will use this device like that. And let's go from zero. It shows zeros almost. For some reason. Okay. Okay, we are ready, counter reset. And it's 300 gears and it should be minus 10 decibel. And it is minus 10 decibel. Good. Moving on. This one, I didn't get it.
Okay, now we have 400 gears and levels are there. Okay, fine. Moving on. And we have frequency 1 kilogears right there, and levels are correct. Good. Moving on. Okay, it's 3 kilogears, phase almost there. Minus one decibel. Wow. It's a lot. This drop is a lot. Okay, it's six kilogears. And we have minus one, minus two decibel between two channels. So it should be minus five decibel, but it's over. Okay, I see an issue already. It should not be dropping so quickly. After 10 kilogears, it should be the same level. Okay, still six kilogears. A little bit, a bit more. Okay, 10 kilogears. Phase is fine. But it's minus one, two, minus three decibel on 10 kilogears. Okay, and I believe that's 15 kilogears. Yes, it's 15 kilogears. Face just a little bit wobbling, but it's like minus 10 decibel. Wow! Seven words on K3. We fix it this week. Okay, I will need to take a look. What's wrong with this guy? But this drop is, is definitely too much. Really. I need to check what's what's wrong. This is the I believe it has oh it has a brand new head. Okay, it's been replaced. So guys I need to check how everything soldered it. What the wires, how everything is adjusted because this brand new head it should give terrific results, but it doesn't. That's probably a reason why it cannot calibrate well because 10 decibel is, is just a lot. Uh, let me see, let's go to type one if we can calibrate it. Okay. Calibration mode, which is pro, recording, start. Okay. Let's do bias first. Yeah, you see how significantly we had to reduce bias for type 1 tape. And level. Yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. 10, 10 decibel. It's 10 times lower than needed. I would expect comparing, so this is a Kamish tape. I would expect like minus two decibel on 15 kilogs, but not minus 10, maybe minus three. Okay, so I will work on this deck tomorrow. Today I'm just checking up. Thank you 
for your time and see you in the next parts. Bye-bye.